Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Dylan, and I am a random nerd, and today we are going to be continuing on with Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, let's see. Uh, so the last video was recorded this morning on the 15th. It is now... I mean, 16th, I'm sorry. It is now 12 a.m. the next day. So it's like, it's 12 a.m. I am... It, it's It's been a day, to say the least. We'll, uh... We'll talk about it when we get into the game and start playing a little bit while we're on one of our rides. But, um, yeah, uh, I really, I, I, I just want to play this game. I, 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 I'm loving this game so, so much. I just want to keep on playing. Um, so, yeah, make sure y'all guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure y'all guys like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys subscribe, if you guys subscribe, please hit the bell for me so that way you guys know when I upload. Uh, I really appreciate all the support. We, uh, we've had, oh, I don't know, 20 people watch a couple videos. It's, it's been nice. To know that people are watching, and I really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys who clicked on the video. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm just I'm just excited to get into it. Like I said, I am a little tired. I got myself a good old fashioned Mountain Dew to keep me awake. So I don't know. We're going we're going to get a good bit done today. I, I mean, we'll play by ear. Depends on how tired I get or how quickly I get tired. I should say. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's uh. Let's see what we got going on. We got, uh, they got poker going right now. Five fingers for lay. Um, so yeah, last time we left off, we did, uh, we did Dutch and Lenny, where we went down here and got drunk. We did the, uh, Javier mission, where we had to go rescue, rescue Sean from Blackwater. And we did the mission with Mary Linton. Arthur's X out this uh, Arthur's X and um, so the thing about the episodes is I'm go I want to 100% this game right it's just, I want to do it but I'm starting to lean more towards uh, instead of like um, you know trying to get all the animal skins of course I'm still going to hunt and stuff like that but like trying to discover every single animal trying to do every single tiny little side thing I'm going to stick to the story along with side stuff so I mean I want to start uh, lining this stuff out a little bit more so that way we get more stuff done in each episode and when I beat the game I'm going to go back in my own time and really really 100% it but at least that's my plan right now I say that but then the moment I start playing we'll get caught by 50 different things but like I'm still going to do the stranger missions don't think I'm not doing those or anything but I mean like I mean like what we did last couple episodes ago where we just ran around this entire part of the map for no freaking reason we're not going to do that anymore I'll let I'm saying that, but like I said again, it could be completely, completely different. So, um, like I said, we'll we'll play by ear. I'm just telling myself that, so that way I try to stick to it, if that makes yeah. sense. But uh, yeah. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to go rescue Micah. It has to eventually get done. I do not want to go rescue that man. I do not like him. I don't want to deal with him right now. So I think we're just going to go ahead and ride over to Emerald Ranch and go meet up with Hosea. And see what we got going on over there. I think that's what we're going to do. So, um, yeah, so we got a little bit of a ride. Uh, so yeah, today sucked. <laughs> it, it was not a good day today. Um, the morning started out okay. You know, I, I woke up. I recorded uh, some more Red Dead. I um, recorded videos for the reaction channel. I got a lot of stuff done this morning. But um, pretty much after I left to go to work, everything kind of went down the hill. Work sucked. I had to go in an hour early. I left an hour late. Yes, I want to go. I, it, it was a very, very long day. It was very busy. Yep. I picked almost 1,600 items, which, to tell you how, to put that into perspective, I normally pick around 1,000 a day. That's about my average. I pick about 1,000 items a day. I picked 1,500 today. So I am extremely. Me too. All right. 
Settle down. Okay, where was I at? Um, yeah, so work was extremely busy. I then had what I thought was going to be a date. Guess you guys can tell how that one turned out. Here's the answer. Spoiler alert, it fucking sucked. Um, you know, it wasn't really a date. It was just... I, I, I've been talking to this girl for a few weeks, and I wanted to go to dinner, right? So I, I asked her if she wanted to go get dinner after I got off of work. So, you know, I got off of work. I met up with her to go get some dinner. Um, it, it was not good. <laughs> it was not good at all. Uh, pretty much what happened was, because I got to say her name, and she's not going to be watching, so it doesn't freaking matter. But, um... Pretty much what happened was, is, uh, you know, I was trying to make it a little bit more than friends type of thing. You know, I, I was starting to catch feelings and stuff like that. You know, no big deal. And, um, yeah, like two minutes into the dinner, she was like, oh my god, thank you for being such a good friend and inviting me to dinner. So I got friends in in the first two minutes. I was like, damn, I, I gotta be a record. So two minutes? Two minutes! I, I took it to a nice damn restaurant, too. I paid a lot of money for that meal. I... And I did pay for her because I'm that nice of a damn guy. So, you know, that put me out almost eighty dollars. I should, I should have even, I should have even paid for her. The moment, the moment that she said that I'm, so, I, I shouldn't pay for her, but I did. So, yeah, it's been fun. And now, you know, I'm, I just came back and I really wanted to get some videos recorded. Screw this. But yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of just wanted to come back and record some videos ah. because I was um, kind of let down today, I guess. No big deal. I'm good. Let's get back on the video. But yeah, I mean, this morning was great. Like I said, I got a lot done this morning. I recorded some videos. I uh, went grocery shopping. I got some uh, food for the week. Second half of the day, nah, so good. But I hope y'all say it was good. I uh, hope everybody had a good day today. Um, yeah, I mean, some people have bad days, some people have good days. It all happens, it happens to everybody. But, um, I'm trying to think, I'm sorry, my mind's all bobbled, I'm tired. Um, yeah, summer school starts soon, so that's great. Um, I'll be starting summer school in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Summer school's not bad or anything, it's just I cho I'm i choosing to take summer classes to get my degree as early as possible. Because since I'm getting two bachelor degrees, which is two four-year degrees, I'm trying to get it in four years, so eight years worth of college in four years. So um, I'm doing a lot of extra school. So I'm doing extra hours during the fall, extra hours during the spring, and I'm taking classes in the summer so I can graduate as soon as possible. So, like I said, I want to be graduated by 2024, which is three years down the road. So, um, I got to do a lot of extra college and stuff. So, that's great. But it's good because um, it's going to be this uh, this summer, which, again, starts in uh, not even a couple weeks. I think it starts Monday. I got I to gotta check on that, actually. Not tomorrow, but the next Monday. It's an interesting way um, of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no I got doubt. to. Um, I do interesting very well. It's trust I'm taking a bunch of history classes. That's what I'm saying. Hang on. We'll start. I'll talk about it when we go on our next ride. People, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no Seamus. such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? <laughs> what are we doing? To this clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business. Yeah, I'm Arthur. Arthur. Listen, Arthur. He's rough and ready and quick with of, his tongue, but I yeah. swear you can trust him and trust me. Mm -hmm. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't it's like trust Arthur's idiots. smoking at the exactly. back. Exactly. Don't We're trust not good. idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. 
It's in their barn. Now you go get that. Right. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. Oh, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's okay. just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more. They'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. <laughs> and yes, I love it. You heard yeah, the man. Let's go right? rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> All right. Guess you're gonna go rob his cousin. I, I like Jose. Really? I think Jose is a good really? dude. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yeah, not helping me as it tried to eat me alive. Come on, get him! Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. I felt it was a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. Yeah, Jose has a, a safe spot to fence wagons and coaches. That's easy money for us. Oh. I guess you're right. Yeah. Come on, it's he's not right. like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Yeah, I really like this app. Emerald Ranch hardy. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything it. else? The Lil. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Hmm. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How oh, he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? <laughs> Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Well, that's pretty interesting. I'm really, I'm, I'm actually really curious about that. Doing? What are you doing? You ran to me. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. All right. Do I need a? Since we're robbing a house, I probably don't need any. Like, I'll probably just keep. See my what we're dealing with. Come on. All right. Follow Isaiah out to Carmody. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. All right. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Get the old binoculars out. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Mm -hmm. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning and I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. Hmm. What do you think? Now soon tonight. Let's do it now. Let's do it tonight. Right. We don't want to do it during the daytime. That seems dumb. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Alright. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Yep. Alright. So I'm assuming that we're just stealing all the money in the house while he gets the stake the stage coach, right? That makes no sense anyways. There's especially since it's night time, they're probably all asleep. Should be easy pickings.
you see anybody? I don't know why I'm picking up my head, is it? Get, get back down. I don't know why I was picking up my head, is if I could see through the window. <laughs> Alright, so we want to rob the house at $45 worth of items. You guys can't see that. But, um, it's there. You guys can't see because my, my head's in the way. Again, if y'all guys want to move my head to a different area of the screen, y'all guys please let me know. Closing everything up, I don't want them to suspect any- Don't kick it! Get your ass down! Don't kick it! I don't want them to suspect a thing. Alright. Well, is there still more in the house? Yeah, I wanna- You need to stop standing up, so what you need to do. Yeah, there's something upstairs. I want to take everything possible. I'm just I'm nervous now because Arthur keeps on standing up like a moron. Put the dude out of here. Please stop standing up. You're giving me freaking heart attack. This whole time you're doing it. Stop. Stay still. Just like a lockbox, or if I'm making that up, okay. There, there we go. Okay, I was gonna say that looked just like a chest. Right. Look at that. Almost 80 bucks worth of stuff. Plenty. Right, now get oh wait, close, 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 close. Don't forget to close. Get on, dear boy. the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. Yeah. You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. So, so what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. Yeah, that's, that's not a plan. It it's it's pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> keep, on giving, keep on giving him shit about that. That was real messed up what he did. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. 
And as usual, he did not flip. He almost ate me. Exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Right, ask you a question. I want to know. Until we can't, I suppose. Until we can't. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. <laughs> okay, here we are. Just pull the coach. All right, so that must be where the gang share went that one episode, where like 300 bucks just didn't appear in the thing. It must have went to the safe chest, like a safe, like a like a safety deposit box. Pretty smart. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. I'm going. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Um. Uh, no. Nah, I'll catch up with you later. I still want to go on a ride. I got stuff I want to talk about. Trouble. Plus, I really enjoyed just riding through the, through the, um. Okay. Sorry, I'm talking all over the place. Um, you can now sell stolen wagons to Seamus at the wagon fence in Emerald Ranch. Alright, so my question is, with this, right? Is, and let me know in the comments if it's not like spoilers or anything. Is that like so? Like I sold the horse last episode, right? And it only was like four dollars and fifty cents. Like I, I, I tamed a horse, on, I sold it. Girl. It was only four dollars and fifty cents. So I'm wondering if a carriage is even worth my time stealing and even selling. Is it worth my time? Let me know in the comments. But uh, all right. Don't tell me flat. The only thing on the map is going to Micah. Uh... All right, I may have made a mistake. This is gonna be a long ass ride. Um. It's okay, we got a lot to talk about. Um, we're going to get Micah. Yay. Can you guys tell how enthused I am about going and getting Micah? Alright, well, um... First off, I want to I wanna go... I want to camp. Yeah. Yeah. Place of wilderness. Hang on. Alright. Let's camp and then we'll jump on the horse and we'll go. Like I said, I don't like going at nighttime because with all the lights on and everything, I can barely see. Did I just say I'll sleep till noon? Well, I was way closer to my my bed. Did I just say I'll sleep till noon? I didn't mean to do that. I meant to say morning. Eh, it's all good. <sighs> That's fine. Noon's fine. Alright. Yeah. Let's go. We got a really long ride ahead of us. Alright. So what I was saying was, is um before we got caught up in the mission, is that um for my summer classes, I'm taking uh, a couple that are gonna be history classes and uh, I'm really excited about that because you know I I just enjoy doing it. Another one's a language, which is also it's English eleven oh two, I think. Which which is pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm pretty good at English. I can write a good paper uh, when I need to. I can write a pretty good paper. Um, yep. And that's it. It's only three classes. Not too terrible, but along with work. And summer classes being half the time of a normal semester, it's going to be pretty rough. But we will make it through it. Um, but yeah, my history classes are going to be Civilization 2. I've already taken Civilization 1, which was prehistory all the way through to um, um, right after... I think it was 1,000 AD is where we ended off. So this one goes from 1,000 to 1,400. Oh, am I glad I found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What the what? hell? Who has him? Bountyman. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm going to go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well, you coming? Yeah, All right, coming. lead the way. So how'd you find it? What the f what the hell are you doing? Easy, 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 easy. No, I'm losing Javier. Okay, now I'm 
I don't know. Okay, the horse, the horse flopping in this game is probably some of the funniest shit I've ever seen. Tracers pretty easily. All right. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. All right, girl. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. Yeah, I like almost every character that part of camp. Besides Micah. There's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it. There they are. <laughs> on foot from here. Take out the position. I don't know what the hell. All right. Hey, you idiots ever hear of Dutch's boys? You're gonna fight for this. You have no idea what hell is coming your way. Try to shoot. We're shaking in our boots. <laughs> <laughs> when I loot these people. You get caught, you suffer consequences. Come on, cut me loose. No, hang on. I'll get the ropes. No, you can cut them loose. Thanks, Javier. I owe you for this. Well... I'm going to head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. No, not even a... I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Yeah. <sighs> What's next? <laughs> What's next? Ain't that right? Alright. Let's get back to the old horse. Hey, I'm sorry, night time again. Look at that shit. Alright, screw it. We're just gonna take we're just gonna take the trip at night, I guess. Um <clears throat> Yep. But yeah, when I was talking about the music earlier, it made me remember. So uh I go to uh my work is like only two miles from here, right? It's not bad at all. It's like it, it, it's it used to be farther away because back when I lived into college a couple weeks ago, but now that I live in this apartment, it's a lot closer to uh work. Yeah. And um so the way I get hyped to go to work is is I blast anime openings. I, I uh, I've just started watching anime like ten months ago. My roommate got me into watching it, and I absolutely loved it. So now I just wa I watch a lot of animes now, and um, I blast anime openings, uh, especially when moving into moving to Japan. And everything I like I like learning. The, I like I, if I listen to the music and everything, I'll get used to the music and everything like that. So I blast anime. Yeah. Things, right? And my windows on my truck, I um, I, I have an 08 Dodge Ram for anybody that's wondering. Um, I uh, I tore the tent off of it. I ripped the tent off a couple a uh, couple months ago because um, the tent was turning purple. So I ripped the tent off, but I can't afford to put new tent on there yet. So um, you know, you can see straight through the window. And you know, um, I, on the way to work today, we were stopped at a red light, and um, I was listening to Attack on Titan season one opening, which is hype. Right, so I'm sitting there banging my head around the truck, banging on the damn steering wheel, getting ready to go to work. And I turn to my left, and there's a damn cop just looking at me like I got two heads. And I'm like, hey, I, I just nod at him. And then, like, he nods back at me like, what the hell are you doing? And I go, and I just go back to bobbing my head and everything. He, uh, he ended up pulling me over. <laughs> and he was like, what the hell are you doing? And I was like, I'm listening to anime op <laughs> openings. And he was like, all right, well, you can't be banging your head around and banging on the steering wheel and shit while you're driving. And I was like, well, what's the, where's the fun in that? 
long story short, it, it was pretty funny. It, 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 made, me, it made me laugh. Uh, before I got the word today. It, it was pretty funny. But, um... Yeah, like I said, it, 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 I, I didn't even... I completely forgot. You can see straight through my damn windows now because the consent's gone. And I was just... I was rocking. I mean, I was head-banging, sling, I was slinging my heads around, smacking the steering wheel. With the, <laughs> and, you know, he pulled up. And the problem is my air conditioning is going through this thing where sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, right? Um, because the fans are kind of wonky right now. I gotta fix the fans. I already have the parts. I just haven't fixed it yet. I haven't taken the time to fix it. And, um... What am I doing? Is there, like, a strange transmission here? Up to the right. Okay. Um... And... Uh... So the fan doesn't work, so I have the window rolled down, which is even worse. So, I mean, like, just... You know, you can hear freaking... You can just hear Japanese music just yep. banging, slamming through the speakers, and this, I had my speakers turned all the way up because this, how, like I said, it's just how I get excited for uh, work. It's just by blasting that shit. Oh, all this time is right here. My bad. I just don't understand this at all. Yeah, I thought it was pretty hey, funny. Over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For uh -oh. me, but not for you. All okay? right. I ain't got time for No, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. I can't say I have. <laughs> there has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum I'm across sure seas. Like that. I have had many women. <laughs> I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago. Hey. In search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Well... well. Good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, <laughs> them you have heard of. But me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but right. were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me. Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, I mean, given the potential it. returns. Should I rob him of it? Ah, screw him. Uh, what the hell? Why not? <laughs> a very <laughs> wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. I mean, I'll look at it, but there's no way I won't be able to do it right this second. I'm trying to get over to Micah. Even though this could be more fun, because we don't like Micah, but it's fun. Um, alright. I have no idea what that's at. The problem with the treasure map stars, I'm never going to find them. I may honestly look them up. I won't look them up now, but uh, if I don't find these within like the next 10 to 15 episodes, I'll probably just end up looking them up. Strictly because I don't want to. Um... Yes, I did it. There's. there's some... yep. easy, easy. Can I make it down that? Since we were talking about animes, um, yeah, so, like I said, I, I, I started watching some animes a few months ago, um, I listened to them, you know, the whole dub and sub work, uh, which I think is so stupid, anime fans are 
some of the most annoying people I've ever had conversations with. Yeah. Which I am an anime fan, but I'm not the type of person who will literally murder you over not watching a dub or a sub. Alright, um... How did I miss? So, I'm not a big stickler of the dub versus sub thing. I watch some dubbed, and I watch some sub. It depends on how much I enjoy the show. Because, um, for example, my favorite one, which I'm actually wearing a shirt. Yeah, I'm wearing a shirt right now. I'm wearing My Hero Academia, which is my favorite anime. Um, uh, kind of cheesy, I know. But it's, it's my favorite. I, I really, really enjoy that, sh uh, that show so, so much. Um, it's my favorite anime, anyway. It's not my favorite TV show, my favorite anime. But, um... I watched that one in dubbed, but like Attack on Titan, I watched and subbed, you know what I mean? So it's, it just depends for the show on the show for me, but also I'm starting to watch a lot more subs strictly for the fact of with me moving to Japan in a few years and start and next month I'm going to start learning Japanese, um, start to learn Japanese, I'm not going to learn it completely, but I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to be that jackass that uh, just doesn't know any Japanese. So, um... I'm going to um, cool, start learning girl. some next month. I'm going to start with the yeah. basics. And, uh, yes, yeah, so like I said, I've started watching a lot more sub, but uh, Death Note, I love Death Note. Death Note was good. Uh, like I said, My Hero, Attack on Titan, uh, Cowboy Bebop was okay. It, it, the hype wasn't as good for me as I expected. It, the show wasn't as good as I expected to be. I love Hunter x Hunter. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of anime that I've watched so far, so, like I said, I, I've enjoyed most of the anime that I've watched. My roommate, he watches those weird ones. <laughs> the ones that are, like, yeah. that are just, they're too much for me, but, I'm better, I'm better used to it because, um, yeah, anime is a very, uh, well, it's Japanese, it's Japanese TV, so, I mean, that's what's going to be there when I move there, so. I'm so excited to get there, though. It, it's so far down the road. It's still three years away. But I'm just so damn excited. Please! Stop! Please stop! Oh, I beg you! Where are you at? Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Watch where I'm going. Yeah, I think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? Damn, Arthur. <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. Well, get over it. <laughs> what are you doing out here anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, I know, and I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. New York City. You don't say. <laughs> Arthur's oh, yes. like, damn it. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. <laughs> Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly step off the carriage and I'd take it in the whole place. He's one of those, okay. From New York City, probably sees a small town, just doesn't like it. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, I mean, charm judgment. is not worth much these days. I'll tell you, you show I'm me a timber frame jack, and I'll show you Broadway. Yeah, I see. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub. The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. <laughs> now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. N no offense. Okay, so Little he's, taken. So he's a prick. I'm cold. I 
I saw I us. So can you find your way from here so I can actually go properly instead of having to trot with you? Oh, are we close to town? I see lights, so probably. Oh, that's a nice looking town. What are you talking about? Why did the frame rate just drop? It's not that bad, is it? I mean, this town is smaller than San Denis. <laughs> Whatever. Hopefully, y'all guys didn't notice that too bad. It only dropped like 10, but still, I noticed it. Yep. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, I what? Ah, what? Oh, God, I hear his voice. Jesus Christ. Why is my frame rate dropping so bad out here? It's not even that... Alright, whatever, screw it. You think these bars can hold me? I hear you, you Micah. Hear Shut me? up. God, I hate... I don't know what... I don't know what it is. I just don't Arthur. like him. Arthur! What? God, I should have been taking this. Why did I Hello, get you? Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Please Real leave. Funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Oh, bullshit. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. <laughs> this wall just needs some good forcing. Find a way to free Micah. Oh, I saw something. Grab hook from Maybe the steam donkey. steam donkey over there still works. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. All right. What a I'm, modern disaster. I'm saving you, Micah. Just pull that lever. Come on. I can't believe I'm saving you, but I'm saving you, so you better stop being a prick. Oh, 
You owe me more. Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? Let's you have here. finally lost your damn you mind. God damn maniac. I am so pissed off. Off. Why I is he not on a freaking hangout? Press RS while aiming with LT to enter his down. Let's just let him press RS again. They got something of mine. I ain't leaving without. Loot all these damn bodies. Whoa. Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now yeah, you want to get out of here? Oh. Oh. Damn it! How many of these sons of bitches are there? I'm down. Keep riding, Morgan. Don't I can't even talk. I'm so upset. I'm pissed. What the hell was that? Gotta be wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. Shoot him. Shoot him. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny too. He hadn't found us in time. Holy shit! Be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. That was impressive. For some unknown reason. Now let me go back to being pissed. I do not like him. Over there. I think we finally lost. I hope so. 
I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank what you. What the f I don't want thank you. There I was having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Shoot him. Shoot him. Why you act all sour all the yeah, time? Because well, you're you a ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court just right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family. No, now. we Arthur, ain't. You and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. First off, before I go on my rant, holy shit, this game is beautiful. That lightning was insane. Now, secondly, what the Here. actual hell was that? What the hell was that? I'm I, I, I'm pissed. We have bounty now. I'm pissed. I I'm actually pissed. What time is it? Alright. Um, let's go right up. I gotta pay off my debt. Do I have 85 bucks for me? I'm tempted just to go pay it off right now. Let's go pay it off right now. Screw it. Uh, Alright. Uh, Micah. I, it was kind of a joke at first. I didn't like him. But you know, I was like, eh, maybe he'll grow on me. I hate him. I hate him. Damn, I probably hurt your shoulder. I probably really hurt your shoulder. If you would give me a minute, please. I'm glad you're doing the right thing. What you need? Pay off my bounty. So what does that do for me? Okay, so that was simple enough. All right, Lord, let's go do this. Albert Mason. Albert. Okay, Albert Mason. I, I don't like him. Like I literally cannot express how much I do not like that dude. Like I said, at first it was a joke. Ha ha. Mike sucks, but I mean, I thought that he would grow. Yeah. So, what's that you got there? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. <laughs> I, I heard you said the truth, well, my brother. I got to go now. This is as nice as I'm gonna ask. Hand it over. Now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need for that, friend. What the hell's in your head? Oh, God. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Or kill him. I just wanted to prove it more. But, um, whatever. So we know the treasure map, but again, I don't know enough of the map to really be... Yeah, 
my 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 iron stuff really. I just grabbed it. Micah really pissed me off. Like I said, more than I expected that to after playing the mission. It doesn't hurt the game for me at all. Like, I still love the game. It's just, I really thought that I was going to uh, end up liking Micah and it would all be like a joke we could joke about later on, but nope. Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head farming. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? I mean, look at these dolts. <laughs> There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food? Medicine? Starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Well, I wouldn't eat myself, guys. Check back with us in a few days if you're in the market for any lumber. Will do. I don't want to sell them anything. I mean, I need all that shit. I mean, I die at least once an episode. I gotta make sure I got my damn health potions. Potions. I got my health cures with me. I was playing. I was playing Skyrim yesterday, so I uh, said potions. Sorry about that. For y'all that don't know, Skyrim is my favorite game of all time, so I play it a lot. Very fun. I'd probably beat it 30 times. I don't really care. I, I just, I'll beat it. I'll restart. And I'll play it once a week. Two hours here, two hours there. I have so many mods on the thing. It looks like the game that came out in 2021. <laughs> Spent a lot of time out in that game. I, I have a. I, Skyrim has a very special place in my heart. Alright, we're only going to do this mission. I'm going to call it that. So, because I'm beginning to get tired. I'm just gonna wake up early in the morning and hit another episode like what I did this morning. Well, I guess yesterday morning now. Mr. Morgan, I'm sorry, my my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. <laughs> this is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I like this. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of? Huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No, <laughs> wolves. Whoa! <laughs> you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. Thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I, I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. <laughs> you are a gentleman. I really like Arthur. Don't know I mean, Arthur's just well. such a... Well, to me, you're a gentleman. He's a good dude who does bad things. And like I said, a good antagonist protagonist is by far my favorite type of character. Wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. Not, too Not through lack of trying on there. 
A while back, I helped a friend from get... Forward. Usually they are not great fans of man. Don't blame me. Me neither. Hey, shh. There's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. You don't need to aim at them. Well, I guess you're going to have a lot of wolf boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Just so. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's I'm staged. Not, I'm not, yeah, sort of is. Like the magnificent creatures. Yeah, shit. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Hey, oh, oh, shit. It just won't. Damn. from the door. Come on. Snap out of it. You're safe. <laughs> Alright, let's end the mission so I can scan all these pelts. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can <laughs> be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. <laughs> Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? Well, I imagine. That one was getting a little Perhaps close, so I shot wolves it. Wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. One, two, three, four skins, plus the one, plus the one, so that's six wolf skins. Now, they're all going to be four, of course, so it's not going to freaking matter, but that is what it is. It's fine. So, I guess I need a, uh, I need to hunt them with a the bow so I can get a perfect one, but like I said, in that situation, you kind of just have to use your shotgun. I guess we're about to find out just how many skins we can actually have. Uh, just checking this equipment if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. <laughs> First I was scared of the wolves and now it's hydrophobia. <laughs> hydrophobia phobia. Perhaps a wildlife photographer needs steady your nerves. Probably. Or a longer tube for this shutter bulb. Much, much longer tube. And a cave to hide in with bars on the outside. <laughs> So we're up to five now. Four skins plus the wolf. I'll be some time working on the I hope that like, cause like that was the second one. So apparently there are more. I hope that um we get like pictures of all the animals at the end of the missions. That'd be cool to have. Can you buy property in this game? So you can like hang the pictures. That would be cool. But I guess not because you live with the game. So, um, I want to go ahead and leave that episode there. Um, it was still a really good episode. I'm still really pissed at that mission. No, not the mission itself. It was a really good mission. I just, I do, I, I, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. So, uh, 
yeah, it's a good thing he's staying away from camp because I would antagonize the hell out of him if he was in camp. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Uh, again, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you guys subscribe, please hit the bell for me so that way you guys know when I upload. Um, and, yeah, I will see y'all guys in the next video, which I'm going to put this one up tomorrow morning. It uh, should be up before noon. Hopefully, maybe not. It should be around noon. And we may have another episode up tomorrow. It may be the next day. I kind of want to do one episode a day. A day. The only reason I waited two yesterday was because of um, the fact that one was only 40 minutes. So I did not I did a longer one. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm going to end it there. So I will see you all guys in the next episode. And peace out.